Hey guys, welcome back to the Kansas Rebuild. This is Soccer here, coming to you with episode 17. If you didn't watch the last episode, make sure you go back and watch it as we defeated the Florida Gators in the Cotton Bowl to win the BCS Cotton Bowl Championship this year. Going kind of over what has been the last few years, and Kansas has not been good for a while. In 2007, they did win that Orange Bowl game and go t went 12 and one. The next year, they went eight and five and won a bowl game as well. However, from 2008 till 2013 of this year, they have not been going anywhere but down. So we're trying to make trying to make a difference, trying to turn them around. They went from five wins to three wins to two wins to one win. This year, we went 11 and two with a Cotton Bowl championship. I did get a five-year contract extension. I'm supposed to win seven wins a year to keep it to keep my contract going. Right now, our program tradition is a B minus, but I'm wanting to change that. Going over just some of the coaching jobs, I'm I'm always going to be interested. I'm not necessarily going to stay at Kansas the whole time. Honestly, I, I kind of just want to roll around and see what other teams have to offer, whether or not I can kind of build another team up possibly, not necessarily taking like if there's a vacancy at a great school like Florida. I'm not necessarily going to take it. I want to make sure it's right fit. I want to make sure I can kind of change a program. So right now we're trying to change KU. There are several coaching positions out there right now, West Virginia, one of them. They're going to go ahead and sign the offensive coordinator from Alabama. Minnesota looking for a head coach position. They actually look like they might ask me. However, they do not. Same thing with Pittsburgh. I am actually part of these head coaching discussions. I'm not getting asked yet. We do get asked by Yale. Not really wanting to take a Yale position right now. I'm still trying to build KU up, so I'm probably not going to be taking a head coach position anytime soon. Arkansas State getting a new head coach after their head coach left. I wouldn't mind trying to be a head coach of Indiana just because my wife is an Indiana fan and Indiana's college football is just about the same as KU's so but I am going to turn it down for right now again we're trying to build KU up if I get KU in a position where they're top 10 every year then I might think about going to a different school I don't necessarily want to make I do want to make Kansas a powerhouse but I don't want to stay there if they're a powerhouse it's not really fun if you're constantly winning championships but We'll see how it turns out. We had a pretty good first year. Here are a few players trying to leave us. Ben Heaney is a junior trying to declare for the draft. We're trying. We're going to try to keep him here. We're going to promise him that he will not regret staying to get his college degree. He is happy with that. He's wanting to stay for his college degree, so he is not going to the pro draft. However, James Sims is a senior. Our running back had a great year. He is going to the pro draft. Right now, he's projected in the third round. So we're pretty happy that we kept Ben Heaney. That's going to keep our linebackers in, in a good position right now. Kind of was a thing going into this year, like getting trying to get freshmen coming in that are good at the linebacker position, but it's going to be a little bit easier now with Ben Heaney staying. Going over the players leaving again, James Sims going to leave, Taylor Cox going to leave at the running back position, wide receiver we're going to lose, Ford, Nick Harwell, and Matthews two of which did not even play, so we're not really losing out at the wide receiver position. Center, not even our starter. Right guard, our starter, but he's leaving. Right tackle, I, he was our starter this year. Losing to Vi, he had those couple of great games where he had a bunch of sacks. Losing some defensive tackles, not really losing much. Darius Willis is probably our big this loss there at 79 at our middle linebacker position. Dexter Linton, another big blow to our free safety position. And the Groza Award winner leaving as well. We do go on to see how they got drafted in the pro draft. James Sims did get that third round. And Nick Harwell actually gets picked up in the seventh round. Going over transfers, Daniel Burton from Iowa State. Right guard, freshman 
looking for a new home. I like the fact that he is a freshman and already a 70 plus. So we're happy with that. Let's go ahead and look at his sat or look at his stats. Did give up three sacks last season, but that just tells me he started as a freshman, which is a pretty good thing. Going is overall 73, acceleration 88, not bad. Pass blocking at 82, not bad there. Run blocking needs a little bit of help. Impact blocking needs a little bit of help. But that 90 overall strength is pretty good. Going on to the recruits, we have three scholarships left. We want to make sure that we get at least one of these top guys. Reggie Robinson, uh, we need him. But we also need Rich Rawls. I wouldn't mind having Eric Robinson. I would love having Arthur Ramsey. There's four guys right there that we really want to keep. Only three scholarships left. The only issue with doing the points here is other teams can literally drop 10 grand, 10,000 points on a guy. And if we drop 8,000 points on him, but we don't have a 2,000 point lead, then we lose a recruit. So we really need to be careful on the points that we're aligning per person. We need to make sure that we get the people that we do for sure want. We have 11,500 points to spend. Reggie Robinson gonna get 5K there. We do go ahead and Rich Ross goes to Michigan. That's a blow. However, we do get Reggie Robinson. We do get Eric Robbins at that tight end position. And then we ended up picking a wide receiver up down there. Arthur Ramsey, I really wanted him, but he's going to go to Virginia. So we get two out of the three guys that we wanted. Pretty happy about that. Eric Robbins, I think, is going to make a huge difference this year at tight end. He is only a four-star right now. However, we do love using our tight ends, and we plan to use him all year. Going over where Rich Rawls goes, he's going to Michigan. Didn't really stand a chance. We put 1,500 into him, but again, uh, Michigan and Virginia put a lot of points into these players, so that's why we were not able to get them. However, we got plenty of athletes this season trying to figure out where we want to keep them. Got our quarterback, A. Mills, going to our halfback position. Looking, Clint Tucker, where are we going to put him? We really need some defensive guys, so we're trying to find a place on the defensive side that we can put Tucker. It looks like he'd be a 78 as a corner, so we're going to go ahead and throw him in at, at corner. He might be one of our starters. Dominique Strickland looking for another defensive guy. Ooh, free safety. We know we just lost a free safety, so we're going to put him at free safety at 73. Edwin Mitchell trying to figure out where we want him. Again, needing defensive guys, but not really seeing a defensive spot where we could put him. So we're going to go ahead and throwing him in at running back as well. Darnell Rodgers. Looking for a place for him, hopefully on defense. Not really finding any defensive sides that he would be good at. Um, we are going to put him at strong safety because we're going to hope that his overall goes up. We're going to redshirt him next year. Our last guy is Jeremy Underwood. He is a Juco sophomore. We're going to put him in on the offensive line. Going to training results. This does not include freshmen, so keep that in mind. Jake Heaps goes up to a 91 Cummings going up to an 84. Our running backs need some help. That's why we put two of our athletes at running back. Right now, we have some pretty young, um, inexperienced overall halfbacks. So trying to get them up. Wide receiver McKay up to a 92. Tony Pearson last year's big season. He goes up five overall. Mundine up to an 81. Trent Smiley to a 79. Offensive line plus seven. That's huge from the left tackle going up plus seven in a senior year left guard going up plus six center going up right guard going up and right tackle going up we're gonna have to move the tackles around our right tackle is not the best so we're gonna have to be moving people around plus five to the right end Reynolds going on to our linebackers this is where I care the most right now our linebacking position is not been the greatest so we're wanting a linebacker to go up. We're hoping they increase quite a bit. Stowers on the defensive tackle, he goes up. Jake Love going up. 
Miles going up and Heaney going up. So we do get the increase. Our corners also go up. Fours, fives, sixes across the board. They are high 70s, which is good. That means we can throw in a lot of corners if we don't have the safety presence. McDonald going up at free safety. Sindish, that huge bowl game he had, he's going up as well as strong safety. So kind of going through, guys. Our number one guy right now is Justin McKay. Jake's, Jake Heaps is our number two at cornerback. And then we got the right outside linebacker and Ben Heaney. Next thing we are going to go over is cutting the roster down. We got to lose seven guys. Not sure how we're going to do it, but we will drop down to the right 70 people. We're going to go ahead and drop one of our quarterbacks. We don't need five quarterbacks. We're going to try to stay away from the halfbacks just because we need halfbacks. Wide receivers, we do really not need that much. I did sign a few freshmen that are kind of low, and I don't see them playing in their first two or three seasons anyways so dropping a few wide receivers along the way trying to free up some spots there also looking at tight ends we're going to keep the four tight ends for right now defensive tackle freshman 43 try to cut him however they won't let us. We need that many defensive tackles, so that's kind of unfortunate that we have to keep him. Right outside linebacker, Josh Bowling. We're going to have to drop him. He was a one-star, did not come in very high. Might have to do the same thing with our corners here. Drop another freshman corner. Right here, we go to strong safety, and I notice there is a junior at strong safety, and he's a 66. We have a freshman 66 already, so we're going to drop him. Trying to figure out who we're going to drop in the end. We end up dropping another wide receiver. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit that red subscribe button. Our next video, we will be going to the offseason. We will be making rosters. Make sure you stick around and catch those. Till next time, slacker out.